Good morning, teachers, and welcome to our first ever My View Board How To's live stream. We will, where we'll be showing you how to use our My View Board products to create engaging lessons for your students. Our live streams will be every Wednesday and Friday at 10 a.m. Taiwan time. So stay tuned for more. Um, for our first episode, we're going to be talking about how to get started with My View Board Whiteboard. I'll be your host for today. My name is Michelle Hu, and I am an education solutions trainer here at ViewSonic. And previously, I was an English teacher in Taiwan. So first off, what is My View Board? Well, My View Board is a visual learning platform, and it contains an entire software suite for educators. Um, and for today, we're going to be mainly focusing on one of our flagship products, Whiteboard and more specifically, our Whiteboard for Windows product. So in order to showcase that, I'm gonna give a bit of a demo class to give you a little bit of a taste of uh, what our product is like. And speaking of taste, um, our, for our demo class, the topic will be taste. Um, so I wanna get a bit of an audience interaction. So if you are watching this on YouTube Live, I want you to go to the YouTube Live comment section. If you are watching this on Facebook Live, I want you to go to the Facebook Live comment section. And my question for you is, how many different tastes are there? What do you think? How many different tastes? So type in the answer in the comments. Do you think there's one? Do you think there's seven, 200? How many different tastes? And if you're not sure, you can take a look at the picture and maybe it can give you some different hints of how many different tastes there are. Okay, somebody's saying four, maybe. Uh, sweet, okay, good. So some people are actually giving um, the answers. Okay, so um, we'll go over it together and see how many different tastes are there. Uh, somebody got the correct answer. Yes, um, there are actually five different tastes. One of them is not pictured um, here, and that's umami. So technically there are five. But for today, we're gonna be focusing on four of the different tastes. Um, so to start off with, uh, sweet. The first taste will be sweet. And for people who have a sweet tooth like me, um, chocolate is a type of sweet food. And I know that we call it sweet tooth, but you don't actually really taste it in your teeth. You actually more so taste the flavors of sweetness at the tip of your tongue. So when I think of a sweet food, um, a particular fruit comes into my mind. So I'm gonna draw that fruit, or at least make my attempts at drawing, and I want you to comment what you think um, the sweet fruit that I'm thinking about. Okay, ready? <laughs> So I am not that great at drawing. So the cool thing about our AI pen is it can actually help um, try to figure out what you're trying to draw. And then it will put it here on the left hand and you can just drag and drop it to the canvas depending on what fruit it is. So in the comments, um, what fruit do you think I am trying to draw? Do you think I'm trying to draw a pumpkin, <laughs> uh, apple? A light bulb, <laughs> a pear. What kind of fruit do you think it is? Type it into the comments below. So, <laughs> somebody thinks it's a mango steam. Maybe it might be orange, apple. These are all good guesses. Okay, so the fruit that I was making my attempts at drawing was actually an apple. So the cool thing is you can just drag and drop it onto the canvas like so. And another cool hidden feature is if I right click on this apple, it'll actually do a Google image search. And then I can actually drag and drop an apple onto the canvas. So for example, like this. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> It's okay. Um, normally you can just drag and drop it onto the canvas and it'll show the apple. Okay. Um, my computer doesn't like me today. It's okay. <laughs> um, 
So these are really cool features, especially if you don't know how to draw, then it'll just, um, you can just drag the different pictures for you onto the canvas. So what about sour? Um, for me, when I think of sour, I think of sour candies as a kid, where you would eat it and then like you get that, uh, that sour taste and it, you'll feel it on the sides of your tongue, that sour flavor. Um, for those of you who don't know what sour candies taste like or what, what they look like, I can go here into the magic box and in, do an image search of a sour candy, like so. And then these are some different sour candies. Most of them I ate when I was a kid. Um, and for here, like the sour gummies, those are really good. So I can, ah, there we go. Um, now, so you can just drag and drop it onto the canvas and then you can show students um, different sour foods like sour candy, okay? And now for salty, um, I wanna get another audience interaction. Um, what do you think of when you think of salty? I want you to type in the comments. What do you think of when you think of salty? Um, and I do realize that people can sometimes be a bit salty, but we're not going for that today. <laughs> so for what do you think of when you think of salty foods? Salty foods. What comes to your mind for salty foods? I know for me, um, I definitely think of French fries for sure. That's a salty food that I really love. So what about you? What do you think of when you think of salty foods? So French fries, burgers, pizza, they're all salty foods. And now I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Okay. Um, and then for the, oh, pretzels. Yes, those are really good. Pretzels are delicious. Um, oh, granny, oh, thing, oh, that's nice. Um, in the comments, um, somebody put things that my granny cooks. Ah, uh, yes, chips. Chips are salty and they're delicious. Okay, um, the next one will be bitter. What do you think of when you think of bitter? Um, for me personally, I think of bitter melon um, because I used to eat it as a kid and used to hate it. Um, if you have ever tried bitter melon, type a one one into the comments um, if you know what bitter melon is. So for those of you that don't know what bitter melon is, I can just go into the embedded browser and then I can just do a quick uh, Google search uh, to show you what bitter melon is. And then if I go to the pictures, then I can just drag it onto the canvas like so. So for those of you that don't know what bitter melon is, um, this is what it looks like. And as the name implies, it is definitely very bitter. <laughs> but um, as a kid, I used to hate it, but now I actually like it because it's really good for you. And there's if you cook it well, it can actually taste quite good. So, oh, <laughs> some people, somebody's saying bitter gourd, yucks. <laughs> yes, uh, when I was a kid, I also thought that too. But it's really healthy for you. And these are the different tastes um, that we're um, probably talking about. And uh, this is a miracle fruit. It's a special type of fruit that sort of incorporates the different tastes that we learned before. Um, so first off, I want you to try and guess, what do you think miracle fruit tastes like? What, uh, what taste is it? And for that, I'm gonna go into the magic box and pull out some sticky notes. Do you think miracle fruit tastes sweet? Do you think it tastes be sour? Or do you think it tastes C, bitter? So, oh, oops, sorry. Bitter. <laughs> okay, so which one do you think it is? A, sweet. B, sour, or C, bitter? Which one? Miracle fruit. What do you think the taste is? Okay, some people are saying sweet and sour. <laughs> some people are saying it tastes sour. B, 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 <laughs> C. Okay, so let's reveal. What is the taste for miracle fruit? It is sweet, sweet. So miracle fruit tastes sweet. And why is it special? Well, it's special because it makes sour and bitter foods taste sweet. So for example, if you have a very sour lemon and you eat it, um, and then you eat the miracle fruit, 
afterwards, you eat this lemon again, and it will actually taste sweet, sweet. So this is a very special fruit. So as you can see in this phrase, um, we actually cover some of the vocabulary words that we talked about in the previous page. For example, sour, bitter, and sweet. So if I come here and I highlight this phrase, I can actually go here into the immersive reader. And this is a really cool tool. So in this immersive reader, it'll play, make, um, you can play the vocabulary of the words out loud. Make sour and bitter foods taste sweet. So that's really convenient. And then you can actually change the voice settings to change the speed. And you can also um, make the selection female or male. And um, for today, we're talking about taste and tastes are adjectives. So you can actually come here to this tool and you can actually highlight the different parts of speech. For example, you can highlight the adjectives and then show the labels. So then now the um, tastes are highlighted, sour, bitter, and sweet because they're adjectives. And if you are a language teacher, there's another cool feature. If you come here, you can actually choose the language and what you wanna translate it to. So for example, if you are an English teacher in Taiwan, then you can actually translate it into traditional Chinese and you can translate it by the word or you can translate the whole um, paragraph. So for today, we're just gonna translate the word and show you how it does that. So for example, for sour, if I click on it, it will have the English, sour, sour. and it also have the Chinese. Sun. Swan, swan, and it'll even show you a picture. So this is a really cool tool for teachers and it has a lot of different useful features in it. So definitely check it out once you download our MyBeboard Board whiteboard for Windows. So just hearing the words of how what Miracle Fruit is doesn't really give you a whole picture of how special this fruit is. And in order to do that, I'm gonna pull out some um, video assisted learning to show you what Miracle Fruit is like. So I can go into the magic box again, and go to the YouTube section. And then if I type that 19 Miracle Fruit, there is a video that I've already found before that's really cool and interesting to show you what Miracle Fruit is like. So if you pull out this um, video, you can actually share it with your students directly. So I'm gonna play, um, play the video, a little bit of the video, just to showcase um, how you can use videos in your lessons. Three, two, one. <laughs> this is the Emberry tablet, and when it dissolves in your tongue, sour flavors taste sweet. But to be scientific, let's taste the food before trying Emberry. Oh, lobster bibs. <laughs> it's fancy. It's like an orange. Oh, that is sour orange. It's pretty sour. Oh my god, oh. orange! It's really sour. It tastes like an especially sour orange. Sour orange? Is that a thing? <laughs> so apparently, yes, sour orange is a thing. So for your students, what you can do is you can play a video like this, and you can even come here and create a table, like so. So as a class, you can go over this video together with them. And for example, for the first one, it talked about sour orange. So for the first section, you can label the food that they try, like sour orange. Like so. And then for the next one, you can put the before taste, what it tastes like before. And the next one, you can put the after taste. So another cool feature is if you come here and you double click on here, you can actually write the word sour for the flavor of the before flavor. And then if you come here, you can actually convert the handwriting into text. So that's a really cool feature of our product. And then you can have the students, you can work together as a class and you can fill out the rest of the table by watching the video. So that's just a quick little demo to give you a taste of our MyBeaver Whiteboard for Windows product. So hopefully after um, showcasing this, I got you a bit interested in our product. And 
Now I'm going to show you how to sign up for my Viewboard, how to activate your account, and then how to download Whiteboard for Windows. So first off, how do you sign up for my Viewboard? Um, you come to the myviewboard.com, and you're going to want to go to the upper right-hand corner to get started. And once you click on there, it's going to go into the sign up for my view board. So if you have a Google, Microsoft, or Apple account, you can just come here and you can do the single sign on, which makes the process quite easy. If you don't, that's okay. You can still directly sign up using our um, fill out, filling out this form. For example, if you have a Yahoo email account, then you can use this method to sign up. So once you fin up, finish the sign up process, um, you're going to get an activation email in your account. And you're going to want to click the Activate button in your email. And then once you finish that up, um, then you can directly sign back into my, the myviewboard.com account. And if you go to the very top, there is a down arrow button. And if you click on that, um, this download box will appear. And I want you to go to the whiteboard section and more specifically, the whiteboard for Windows, and click on there. So once you do that, you're going to get a download box that will pop up. And once it finishes downloading, um, then a installation setup wizard will pop up. And you're going to want to finish this installation wizard to get completely set up for your whiteboard for Windows. And um, don't worry, if I'm going too fast, I'm going to actually put these slides up um, to the Facebook group, so you'll be able to follow along at your own pace. So no worries. So after you download the whiteboard for Windows, um, you'll have a whiteboard icon on your desktop. So you're going to want to double click on that, and then you'll get this page that pops up inside of whiteboard. The next thing is you're going to go to the right hand bottom corner, and you're going to want to click activate to be able to activate the software. And it's going to ask you to fill out your email address two times. You want to use the email address that you use most often, and then you can check it. And um, once you check your email, you're going to want to activate the email. Uh, actually, activate your software. So you're going to be getting two different activation emails. The first one will be to activate your account for myviewboard.com. And the second one will be to activate the software for Whiteboard for Windows. So that was a very quick tutorial of how to get started. And um, don't worry, you'll have the slides to go over at your own pace. Um, another thing that can help is we have a one-stop shop My View Board resources page. And I'm going to share it with you um, into the comment section. So you can come here to get all the different resources for My View Board. And hopefully you can check it out and see how. Um, what you can discover from there. And that was our first live stream. Um, we will be having live streams every Wednesday and Friday at 10 AM. So definitely check out our next live stream this Friday. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Um, and I hope you have a really great day. So thank you. See you on Friday. Bye.